are hooked up today to a 2008 Cummins ISM, uh, CM 871, I believe, eight, sorry, 876. So this is an EGR engine with Cummins. I'm going to show you the Texas system here. Go over into parameters, and you notice we have 127 different parameters we can read. This will include everything from your uh, voltages, pressures, temperature settings, on-off switches. And let, me, let me go back here. I don't want everyone thinking that's only going to read 32 degrees. It does take a second for it to populate as you go down the list. So as you'll see, there are tons and tons of different things you can read on this. We do have the ability to create groups. Uh, we do have the ability to record and do all those things. And I just want to go through the list just so we kind of have it on video here in case someone's trying to look for something really, really specific. All right. So there you go, all those readings. Let's go over to faults. We have a ton of fault codes on here. Uh, as you'll see, we can double click on these codes. We can get a code. There's code 1938. If I go into my DTC solutions and I want to see how to fix that code, I just simply go in here, pick the engine that we have, uh, which is this one here, and I will just type in the code number up here to save some steps. There's 1938, the quick and dirty repair information on it right there. And we also have knowledge base. So knowledge base, let me reset this and go to home. And all we do is we click through the tabs. So Cummins, pick our engine, and then let's go all the way down here to 1938. And as you will see, as I double click this code, it will pull up a 13 page PDF. Uh, this is direct from Cummins. This is all the same information that they have available. Everything here at your fingertips on how to fix that code step by step troubleshooting, tests, voltage readings, what everything should be, telling you exactly what to fix. So beyond the code reading, the stuff everyone wants to care about is what can you do with the tool. So let's hop back into here, confirm, ECU info, this is where you would find, such as our manufacturing date, engine model number, serial number, uh, everything you need to know, VIN number of the vehicle, all kinds of good stuff is in here. And just kind of grow up. There's our calibration level. A lot of times people think they need to update their calibration level. Well, we can't do that with this tool. We can with another tool we do sell. Uh, but you do need to know the calibration levels at some point during some of the troubleshooting. So activations, these are all the great things like cylinder cutout tasks, clearing codes, configuration data, reading. Let's run that command so you can see what that is. Basically, it's going to go read all the parameters is how they're set on the engine. So from here, you can print them out. You can save them to PDF. Uh, you can do whatever you need to do just so you have that information. So when you're making changes on the ECM, it's usually a good idea to go in here and just run through it once and kind of read everything. So we're hooked up Bluetooth. The truck's probably a, you know, a good 10, 15 feet away. We've got the door closed. It's a little rainy and gloomy out here, so it's taking a second to read everything. I'll just pause it here while we're waiting for the read to happen. Okay, I am paused it. I'm a, I'm a big bumbling idiot here, it appears. I was waiting on this to populate. However, this truck does not have a PTO. So all I needed to do is kind of hit the button over here on the right to page through all these so you can see where all the settings are set at. So just kind of click through all these, and there you can see everything. So I'll hit cancel and go back. If I go over to settings, this is where you'll see all the different commands and uh, parameters we can change. So cruise control, idle shutdown timers, engine protection settings, uh, diesel particulate filter regen, and we'll actually do that here in a second. So I just want to go through the list and show everyone all the commands you can do. Reset the NOx is important. Anytime you put a new DPF filter on, you need to run that command. Changing your tire size, trip information, everything you need to know is in here. Uh, there's a very popular one, VGT actuator calibration. You must run that command when installing a new VGT actuator on the whole set, uh, in the whole set turbos that come on the Cummins or Volvo trucks. So let's go back up here. So let's actually do a regen. I got the truck running right now. Uh, you can see it's running. I'll go back over here to parameters. And let's go to the very top of the page, and let's see if we can find where the uh, RPMs are. They'll be in here somewhere. So PSIs, temperatures, you can see we've got 163 degree coolant temperature, and things are things are populating and moving on. But we're just sitting here at idle with the vehicle. And let's go back over here to settings. Right there's our engine speed, 625 RPMs. Settings, diesel particulate filter regen. Let's hit the start button. And now it's going to ask you some things. It wants to make sure the PTO and cruise control are off. So even if the cruise switch is on but not set, you could still not allow the regen to happen. It's giving us some warnings on how hot this is going to be. Uh, basically very, very hot, almost 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. It says don't do it inside. Keep everything away from it. 
make sure your neutral parking brake's off. We'll hit confirm. And now we just got to wait here. Could take a couple seconds, could take up to 30 seconds. It's basically doing some checks on the ECM of the vehicle itself to make sure everything's okay. And right now, I can hear it in the background, the engine's revving up. You will notice that you'll start to see some values here. The blue ones is temperature upstream of the diesel particulate filter. And then we have our red arrow right up here as well. This is our temperature after the particulate filter. So we can see both sides of it. If we want to see even more temperatures, we can hit our little arrow there. And what we'll do is now we can see everything. Position of the EGR valve, fuel pressures, all the temperatures related to the system. And I can scroll down through this list. So this is your tables where you would view everything. So right now, the computer is actually not doing anything at all except letting the regen start. Once the regen started, I can actually disconnect this laptop and walk away. It's not doing anything besides monitoring. It is a good idea to sit here and watch it for a while to make sure it goes through because if it doesn't, maybe it'll throw a code, maybe it won't. Or you want to be looking at your tables to try to figure out what's going on. Uh, but there it is. The regen's going. I'm going to hit the cancel button to stop it. We're not going to sit here forever. It's been going for about a minute. So I just run my engine idle down, and we are done with that. So there you go, 2008 Cummins with the Texa Diagnostic Tool from Diesel Laptops. Thank you very much for watching.